This is a short introduction to working with sound, and here I want to show you how to work a little bit with the soundtrack. Here we have a silent bit of video and how to actually add something to it. Then taking another clip with a soundtrack and how to work a little bit with that. Okay, so we got sound clips to edit, and I think on this kayak I want the sound of a bee. So we'll double click Insect B, and you'll see that the actual the sound mapping will show up here. There you can see it. And you want to select a little bit of it. Here you can actually see how the sound changes in volume and things like that. So we're just going to take a few seconds of it. To there. Click Mark Out. And then insert it. Actually you might want a bit of a longer clip there. And if you double click on it, you'll see how the uh, <coughs> it goes, it moves this cursor along. Okay, and then we'll play it. Now, let's say you actually want to change the volume on it. You can stretch this out, and then <clears throat> you can actually expand um, these vertically by moving this toggle. You can do that with the top one also. You don't really need to do that. And let's say that you want to raise it and lower it and raise it and lower it. Use your pen tool. And you mark little keyframes on there. So we're going to do this randomly. We want it to start off quietly and then get louder. Let's say quiet, then louder, then quieter, then louder. Maybe you want to end it with quiet. There you go. Now you can listen to it. That would be using an imported audio file. And you can import any audio file you want. You could take a song and stick it on there. Um, you could take the soundtrack from another video clip and stick it on there. The thing here is how to use the soundtrack that comes with a, a given video clip. So you want to export the two together. So we'll move into here, and I think we'll take some of this space movie, just a little bit of it. And you want to find out what part that you want to take. Now, before you actually start working with the sound, you'll see this little toggle here. It says linked selection. You want to click that so that when you move the clip around, the soundtrack will come with it. So we got to figure out what chunk we want here. And we probably like that little bit there. You can drag it onto the timeline. And you can listen to it, and then we'll modulate the sound a little bit, and then maybe we'll stack a few soundtracks on top of it. So that's a pretty epic soundtrack. And again, you can move into it, you can expand a little bit. You want it to start off quietly. Now, actually, if I want to move this around, you can highlight it and move it around. But one thing that you need to do, and, and this is a, a bit of a problem with Premiere, is that the bottom soundtrack doesn't move. So you would need to move it down one track. Let's say you want to move it on top of something like that. And then when you have it in place, wherever you want it, you can move them back into place and they're still linked up. And if you unclick this link selection, they'll no longer be linked. You can still move them together, but it's more difficult.
So let's say you want to start off a little bit more quietly and then end a little bit more loud. Now, if you like, you can actually stack up soundtracks very easily and they work a little bit differently than stacking video. So we're going to take this soundtrack here and I want to copy it and then I'll paste it here. But I want to get rid of the the actual video part of it. So I'll just click on that and delete it. <clears throat> and then I will go into, uh, here I'm going to change this up a little bit so we have more space. And I'll go into the sound clips and maybe put a telephone in there. And possibly the B. And if I want the B twice, copy and paste it, put that under there. And maybe a tiger. And now you can hear them all together. And I'm going to randomly make some louder and quieter as I go. I'll expand these a little bit and then you can hear what it's like. So if you wanted to, you could take this soundtrack and replace that one. So we'll delete that, then highlight all of these, and just drag them under there. So now you see you'll have a different soundtrack for the space movie.